everybody. So we're going to just hop right on in. We're going to continue working on the um, foiling. And I wanted to use the toner sheets and have a focus on that. So I already have my uh, laminator nice and hot. And this is the toner sheets. I think now they have them with the adhesive back on them, which is really awesome. But mine are just the regular toner sheets. So I'm going to take the remaining foil. Remember when we did the ones last week, the sheets that we pulled off? I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of the toner sheet. And we're going to run that through the laminator. And what it does is, because, you know, obviously that whole sheet is toner, wherever there's foil left, it's going to attach to that toner page. And like I said, I like to do mine through twice, only because I like to make sure I have good adhesion. Um, when you get your machines or you use your machines that you have, depending on your laminator, just test it out. If you go through once and yours is fine, fantastic. I just like to make sure. And then this is the cool part because as you start to peel it off, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I already did that. Okay. So when I peeled it off, here it is. See how clear that sheet is? So that means we used all the foil. That is a good feeling. <laughs> like you're not wasting anything. Do you know what I mean? And then the best part is you have the gold stripes. And then on the other parts that are black, you could technically put foil down again and have multicolor stripes. Yes, you could go that far and further. Can you imagine making a rainbow of stripes? Stop it. Okay, so. We're going to take another sheet. This one, I think I did in a video like a long time ago, but I kept the foil sheet so that I would be able to do this with the toner. And what I'm going to do is I actually wound up cutting that down. I did a lot of foiling off camera. That's why we had a little bit of a jump there because I didn't want y'all seeing me having to run this through the laminator two times for each one that I was doing. I figure once you see it once, you probably got it the concept of that but it's so cool so on the one end there was a lot of uh, black toner still showing and then I wanted to put it over top of some of the polka dots because I want to show you if you add this over top of you know what you've done with the purple the purple is going to remain and all the black dots are going to attach and get this gold foil so you may not want to necessarily do this with the gold, but you could do, uh, oh my god, can you imagine at Christmas having like the polka dots and doing a set in red and then going through on the black toner and doing green? You can see it there. Look at all the holes with the gold in it. So I can trim that gold section, put that behind the project, and then use the the one with the gold mixed in with the dots. So that's the positive and the negative. You have the white, that is the foil mates, and then the toner, the black toner, you can see the black in it. And I'm showing you both. But that is a cool idea with the toner sheet. You could um, use another color foil and then you would have multiple colors. What I like about these foil mates and the sheets is you can use them as solid backgrounds, which give you, you know, really beautiful backgrounds on your cards. You can use your uh, die cuts and cut out different shapes and have it be shapes on your layouts or um, your cards or your scrapbooks. You can use them for decorations on a lot of stuff, you know. Um, and they're so pretty. There's something about the foiling. I really do enjoy it. And I love the fact that you could use the regular in a laminator or you can use the mink, which I'll show you the mink down the road. Um, but next week, I think what we're going to do, do I grab it here? Um, I think our next step is going to actually be using the transfer gel. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I grabbed one of the backgrounds that I made, like my watercolor backgrounds or stuff like that. But I just want to show you what I mean. Taking a strip of it, you don't have to use the whole thing as a background. You can just take a strip, put it on a side, have it be like an added 
little pizzazz to a project. Um, you can use it as the background and just put little sentiments on top of it. So there's a lot of different things that we can do um, with these. And what I love is like these are all done now so I can just keep them, hold them for future projects. And then yes, the transfer gel. That's what we're going to start working with because this is going to be the first time I play with the transfer gel. So that'll be fun. But toner sheets, keep an eye out for those. And like I said, the ones they have out now with the tape on the back, you can definitely have a lot of fun with those because if you do your die cuts you can take off the backing and just attach it right to your project so I, I like the deco foil stuff it's really a lot of fun all right you guys so here are the close-ups of the positive and the negatives I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today um, I know some of these are gonna be kinda shorter um, I know next week's probably be a little bit longer because like I said I've never used the transfer gel and I'm really excited to get in it and play especially with stencils because I have a thing for stencils I really do all right you guys thank you so much again and I hope you have a great day